Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm excited. Can't you tell? Motor scooter. Smash them lights, smash them lights, man. I got a special guest in here, man. Very special guest. Um, legendary. Legendary is, 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 you know, it's an understatement. If you do your homework, your research, you hear me? Okay, so is that working? All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, bet it up, bet it up. Smash them lights when y'all get in here too. Smash them lights. What the fuck is? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm tweaking. Oh shit, I'm tweaking. I'm I'm tweaking, y'all. My fault. My fault. I'm tweaking. Damn, I'm tweaking, and I ain't even nigga. Oh man. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to everybody, y'all. Um, it is, it's I, it ain't quite spring yet, but goddamn. Look, I'm in here white and I got the fan right. Oh, the fan ain't even fucking facing me. That's the fucking problem. Um oh, what I was gonna say, smash them likes, smash them likes. Y'all smash them likes so we can get my man up in here, man. Y'all gotta Gotta show him love, man. He put a lot of work in, man. A lot of work. And if you know anything, you know, we respect the, the hard workers over here because that's what we do, work hard. You feel me? Um, what's up, Chris? Too Real, Tay, Snow Gun, Snow Gun, Corleone, what's the deal? Um, I need y'all to smash them lights. When y'all come in, smash them lights. Run the live up. I apologize for being a little late. You did. Um, I literally have been ripping and running for him for much love, blessings, 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 man. Peace and blessings to everybody, man. Prosperity, all that, man. Happy, happy, happy. Saturday. I mean Friday. I'm about to say Saturday. I'm all. I'm ready for Saturday already, nigga. Uh, Throw the shades back on because this is like four lights in this motherfucker. Um, what up, real on real radio? What's the deal? Y'all smash them lights when y'all come in, man. And no, I'm not on mushrooms, I'm keeping it professional. <laughs> y'all only get the mushroom screens when we doing music and <laughs> shit like that. Bullshit. I got a special one today, man. My boy. Um, now I don't know if he remembers it. But I remember the exact day I met Jeremy. I didn't, honestly, I didn't know who Jeremy was, not because he's unimportant, because I was just oblivious to certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, I, I never forget when I walked off, uh, it was like a little, like a, like a teenager, like a kid. He was like, yo, what's up? Who, you know who he was just talking to? I'm like, yo, who I'm talking to? Who? Like, it was a cool, I just met a cool cat. We was smoking some Billy Kimber. I remember the exact, I know I got, I remember what the dispensary I got it from right on the corner. We was right in front of Brooklyn Projects. That was a, man, you had to be in LA at that time, man. 2017, 18, all the way up to the pandemic. Man, it was a special time, bro. That was the good old days. That's when shit was still kind of like somewhat regular, man. But, um, yeah, man. Humble dude, you know what I'm saying? Speaks his mind. You feel me? Um let me pull up my um uh, I took I did I did some I did some research, y'all. So I wanted to make sure uh, you know, that I know what I need to know. You know what I'm saying? And what I don't know, we're gonna find out. Hopefully. Um, but yeah. Shout out to Jason in the chat. Y'all make sure y'all hit the like button when y'all pop in, man. Hit that like button, please, and thank you. And if you did, a triple salute you. One, two, three. All right, without further ado, I'm about to bring my guests up in here, man. Um, it looks like we ready on all ends. Smash that like button, y'all. Smash the like button. I can't say it enough. You know, YouTube, for they took away the dislike button. 
Well, they didn't take it away, but they took away the, the numbers of dislikes, so that shit doesn't count no more. The like button is what, is what matters, you know what I mean? So that's why I say hit the like button. Let's get as many people in here as can. Share the live, share it on your Instagram story, your Facebook page, Twitter, email it, text it to somebody, go in the next room and knock on the door and say, hey, Q on there with Jeremy Rogers, pull up. You feel me? Um, so let's, let me let me get my boy up in here, man, without further ado. Without further ado. My guy. Yo, what up? What's the deal, Jay? What up, Claire? Hey, did you hear me telling that story about when I first met you? Yeah, no, I did. You, for, you forgot, did you? you? You probably beat so many people, too. I mean, I don't remember <laughs> the air, but, you know. We was listen. I, we was you was you was all right. So I think I was. <clears throat> this is when I used to. Uh, <clears throat> well, you know what? Let's get your introduction first, cause we got we got some shit to talk about. Um, tell them who you are. You know what you do. Where you from? You know basics, things of that nature. I to figure this hammock out. Um, my name is Jeremy Rogers Royers. Um, I am from uh, Boston originally. Um, I moved to LA at 15 alone to skateboard, to pursue skating. Um, so I did half my life in LA and, okay. uh, and I've, uh, filled a few, few passports traveling skating. So I consider myself a person of the earth, you know? Right. Travel, well-traveled man. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, Currently so we're going to start, we, we're going to start cause I, I just found something out about you today that I was, I guess I was mis uh, confused on. I thought that you was originally from L.A. for some reason. Yeah, uh, I mean, shit, I had been there since 15. That's pretty young, you know? Like, I mean, but I had no like, idea you was from, the like, your swag. Yeah. I mean, now, that yeah. when I look into your shit, listen to your music, and really look into your demeanor, I now I see East Coast. But I don't know, maybe yeah. it's because I had just moved to L.A. at that time, and it was just all, I'm just thinking everybody's from this motherfucker. But no, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, <laughs> I'm not, I went from there, and I'm, I'm here, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So... Um, so Boston, man. So I never, me personally, uh, my father is from originally from Boston. And he oh, moved nice. to Virginia. Yeah, he, he he moved to Virginia. This is before I guess I was born. He moved to Virginia. That's where he met my mom at. My mom yeah, my mom's my mom's from Virginia, actually. What? Yeah. What part? To reverse, she went from Virginia to Boston. She's from Richmond. I'm from Richmond. See, there you go. That's why. See, there go. That's the frequency, right? We ain't even know that. We ain't even know yeah. that. You probably hit oh, on my mother that's before. Crazy, bro! You just fucking blew my fucking my. My dad is from Boston, and your mom is from Richmond. Mm -hmm. And I'm from Richmond, and you from Boston. What the fuck yep. are the odds, bro? There you go. You gotta love this shit. Um, the universe. <laughs> yeah, that, exactly. And I'm I'm a strong believer in that. Um, so Bean Town, man, Boston. So how was it? So you say you moved to LA when you were 15. So up until, you know, up until you moved to LA to pursue uh, skating, and we'll get into that, and we'll get into yeah. a lot of other shit. How like what was life like in Boston for you? Like, was you coming up fucked up? Were you already skating? Were you like how was um, it coming up? Yeah, I was already. I mean, I started skating at thirteen, so I, I've been skating for a couple of years. But I was skating every day from, for like eight hours a day and shit like that when I was a kid, and go to the skate park. And I started doing homeschool before even I moved out there because I was uh, already on a company Chapman, and I like toured Japan, and I missed too many days of school, and I had to whatever I had to do homeschool. So okay. I was, yeah. what, what was that? What was that phrase you said? You said you was already on a uh, current and Chapman. What does that mean? Oh, uh, I was on a, a skateboard company called Chapman. Um, oh, so Chapman. I, I was already. I started getting uh, paid at like fourteen from them, and I was already traveling and shit. I got like blackout drunk in Japan at fourteen. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? So look. So all right. So you was basically already like a star coming up in the making. I mean, I, 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 I mean, yeah. you can you can be humble, but I'm saying like as opposed to like a dude who's skating, he's not fucking getting paid. He's not, you know, he's not moving. Exactly. You know how others will move. Uh, a no, well known, more well known. Yeah. I'll say that more well yeah. known. But, yeah, it started work. You know, the past um, it showed its possibilities early on for sure. But I, but I also did skate for like eight to ten hours a day, and I and right. I I did like gymnastics before, so I think that gave me some maybe a little bit of um like aerial awareness, you know what I mean? When I'm flying through right. the air, like I'm like a, not like a fucking, you know, person trying to learn how to swim, I guess. Right, 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 right. Um, so how was the kids treating you like in Boston? Like, all right, you, you just now, you start skating, 
I'm pretty sure you was you was exceptional because you are exceptional. Um, how, what mm -hmm. did, how did they treat you at school? Were they hating on you or was they embracing you or? No, like, I, tell you, I mean, for me going like it was just one trip to Japan before they said I was missing too many. I was going to miss too many days to pass or whatever. So I it was quickly like that was like that one trip. And then after that, I was just doing homeschool. So it wasn't really there wasn't no time for them to whatever. Oh, so it, had, oh it was all fast. It was like, yeah, yeah I, just, I just all of a sudden just dipped out, you know, and um, then as the skaters that skated, there was a good there was a wave of skaters that came over from Boston at the same time. This guy, PJ Ladd, Ryan Gallant, Eli Reed, Sarah Bassett. A lot of people came out. Of oh that. yeah, Sarah Bassett. She's from Boston. Yeah, killed Brathway. Okay. Uh, Jared, Jared. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember that name. I for sure remember yeah. that name. Yeah. Oh good. shit. So, uh, when when did you first like, I guess, go pro? Like, what, how how was that feeling? Like, what was the first deal? Like, even though, <laughs> even if you wasn't, because I I'm gonna tell you, I seen some shit. And I'm gonna bring it up later. I had looked at this video. Yeah. Somebody made a video on you. It was. Fake like a hit piece, but they were saying I don't know how true it is. Good. But I, I saw it. The one they said a uh, rich, uh, whatever pro skater goes go to from rich to like poor. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clickbait, yeah. clickbait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit. I'll give it to him. It's smart. I'm, I'm glad he put the clickbait because I didn't watch it for a while. I'm like, I don't care what this kid's saying, but I right. checked it out. It was actually nice. He was actually saying good stuff. I, 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 I appreciate it. He had, he had a pretty good, uh, clear perspective of me without any hate. You know, that was nice. Right, he, right, just, right. he just obviously used it for to get you to click it, and uh, then when when he did, it was actually he was he was telling the truth, but it was it was nice, you know. Yeah, dope. That, and that's and for those who know what I'm talking about, it's a, a YouTuber named Dusty. He makes, I guess, documentaries. I, I I I call it a hit piece, but he designs it as such, but it's not like Jeremy just said. So you just gotta go look. He got shit on Terry Kennedy and a whole bunch of people. So, anyways, so what was it like when you first like first got your feet, your first piece of money? as a kid like skating like what was you thinking like how did it did they give it to you in cash did they send you a check no i mean when i was on chapman i was uh it's just a random it's really a manufacturer that is a small board company out of new york but they um i was getting 350 a month from them at the time and shit i don't even know what the fuck i was doing with it maybe hopefully my mom put it into candy somewhere or something i can get a candy bag later i don't know but um <laughs> It was just, I mean, it was more than I needed at the time. I don't know what I was doing with it. Video games weren't even like a thing like that. I mean, I guess they were, but I don't know. Shoot. Okay. And then I, and then as I climb, I mean, before going pro, I was, ended up being am on girl by like maybe 16, 17, but I was slow for a little bit. And, right. um, uh, so what, I don't know. I like, I, I did pretty well at like pushing the the number envelope i guess you know so i right, right. I, I always made more than i need i always spent more than i should spend typical know? typical human shit that's humans that's everybody you know yeah what I'm yeah <laughs> um damn I mean, but that's that i just because you know everybody like even with like rapping shit like i was watching who was i watching was it oh i was watching a nifty interview and it's a you you may have seen it but he talked about i think it was rap radar he was talking about when he was a kid, he wanted to blow. He wanted to be like, you know, like Lil Bow Wow. And, you know, everybody yeah. wants to be, but some motherfuckers got to take the stairs. Some That's why I asked you, like, because you, it hit for you. Your shit went, it, it worked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. First go. So that's, it's like, I feel like, I, like you say, you was you got shit faced in Japan at 14. Like being a child, and you're, you're touring with adults, right? Yeah, I don't know. They let me stay out at the club that night. I, I, I walked home and, uh, I fell asleep in a bush across the street at this busy intersection that you always see like photos and videos of people, all these people crossing. I don't know. I woke up in a bush, like whatever. Luckily, samurais and shit didn't cut my arms off or nothing. So. <laughs> the triads ain't what the triads. Oh no, it's America. Triads come for your ass, boy. They yeah, I mean, Japan, Japan's safe and clean, I guess. They're just like, look, what's this little idiot doing from on to sleep? That's what we get for putting wine in vending machines. <laughs> How long is that flight? 16 hours. Mm. Uh, I guess probably longer from Cali even. God damn, that's like a yeah. day. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. It was always straight through. You had like layovers and shit. Can't recall on that one. You don't remember? I mean, yeah. yeah. Probably typically a layover. Typically, like, I'm sure they're straight through, but, you know, companies, skateboard companies don't really always treat you like a uh, lavish. You know, they just get this, get the job done, pay for right. it. Probably what year, what year was that? I don't know, dude. I don't, 
what year is it now? Uh, Around. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know my damn. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. I don't even. I don't know. I'd be trying to not age, so I don't even really tell. I don't tell people anything, whatever. They like, figure out how old I am. and Don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Oh, 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 oh. sorcery. I, <laughs> well, I'm just trying to fucking yeah. It's not even. I just exist in the present moment. I don't know what the fuck. You know. I feel. I feel you on that totally. Somebody. Um. I remember when I met somebody that explained like that to me. That exact thing you said about. Don't even worry about that. Just live. Yeah. Just live. Yeah. So yeah, I, I never. I, I understand. I, I think it helps the aging process of not really thinking about it or putting putting weight on it. You know, just. I existing. tell everybody I'm 300, bro. Everybody yeah. that's watching, they, I, I said when I get to 100k, I, I might let y'all know, but I don't think. Yeah, I, I still use my birthday <laughs> as an excuse to like hang out with some babes. That's for sure. But outside of that, I, I don't care about it. Right. <laughs> just another day. Yeah. Um. Shit, so I right, we gonna I want to get to the music too. So all right, so I did a little research, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of yo, you've been fucking grinding, bro. Yeah. It's been like a while. I, you like see, I know I kind of kind of you know can relate to like cause once I finally, you know, cause all this kind of happened just on accident for me as far as this YouTube stuff. I was doing music yeah. before, but nice. yeah, you yeah. know, one day I just did so, but when I look back at all the like I can go on my YouTube, I can find old ass 15 year old YouTube videos of me rapping or whatever the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. You know, and it's like, damn, you like fuck, I really like been grinding. Like I didn't even know yeah. that and I was looking at like your some of your super old shit, like 13 years old, like I mean, 13, yeah. well, not you, but, like, the time from now is 13 years ago. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, you was killing shit. I seen the old footage with you and Nigel Houston and shit. And I really don't want to ask you about that because I feel like you already talked about it enough. But, yeah. um, I mean, are y'all good? Y'all good now? I, I think he'll probably always have some type of weird little thing towards me, but I we'll see what, what happens. Fuck? Things change. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they talk, they're talking about me and whatever. I just took a course of action because he was, like, getting in my way and shit at being out and about, so I just had to do something, and I so I did, and he didn't like that shit, so that ended up just finally they just put it to bed. He stopped fucking talking about me, stopped fucking trying to get me thrown out of places, and right. whatever. Just that was it. That was it. You know, he, whatever. He didn't like the, he didn't like the publicity or me pumping it up. So I, you know, I mean, that was just my course of action. I don't really want to. I had people, to be honest, I had people actually offer me like, like to take care of. To even like take it to like a whole nother level and it's like nah bro no nah, don't don't touch that kid like leave him right alone. right it's a chance right. bro like, leave him alone i don't care if he don't fuck with me that's whatever but people yeah, like when I, I i never knew that bro inside like i was looking on this shit yesterday and today i was like what you know because we never we, we 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 met briefly nigga we smoked a joint and we and we just periodically tapped in on some just maybe story shit or just whatever like yeah. basic shit but yeah i was like what and i never met him i got a I got a buddy, I got a, a DJ friend of mine, they like super tight. So I, when I seen that today, I'm like, what the fuck? What are the yeah. odds then? Just, I don't know, it kind of caught me by, you know, surprise, but it's, so it's not like no on-site shit. Like you see him, it's going up, it's fight, nothing, nothing like that. No, there was a point in time when he was like, he tried like his friends like were circling me outside a club or something and I just, whatever, it's just got away from him, you know? Yeah, uh, they, didn't end up doing, they didn't end up doing anything, but there was, there was this kid, little Benjamin Kicks. He was like, I'll smack him right now. And uh, talking about me because I was trying to defend Nigel. And I and I was like, what? I went up and introduced myself to the kid, Benjamin Kicks. Like, what's up, brother? Nice to meet you. You know, right. he didn't do nothing. And then Nigel, a couple of times, just like pulled my shirt down, trying to instigate me. And it, it really it started at a um, at his house at a party. And I was in the middle, to be honest, with whatever. I guess it, maybe it's not going to say his name, but somebody that worked for him, worked right. with him for him. And we were in the middle of a, a distillate deal, which is the, what they put in the weed card. It was a 10, 10 liter distillate deal. It was the first time I sold something in weed, which is a lot. It's a hundred thousand uh, dollar sale, you know, and you get commission off it. And um, and he, I, I don't know. I guess girls kept asking him, "Who's who's who's that guy?" Cause like, because not, not, not just because I'm like playing Rico Suave or something, but I just, I, I talk to every babe I see, like I'll even talk to one, I'm going to talk to everyone. Oh right. my God, what the fuck? How do, who made you? You know, whatever, whatever comes to my mind, you know? Right. So you no, know, they probably asked and he did, I don't know. I just imagine he didn't want to hear that shit. And he, and then at that time too, I was working like nightclubs with a friend cause we needed money. So we're bringing girls out to, to clubs and stuff. And, um, I don't know. I think in his mind, he's still jumping down 20 stairs and breaking his back to go like live the lifestyle he's living. Like, I don't know, some irked him about me, like for, forfeiting the skin and being able to co party and do the shit that he was doing, you know, I think of whatever. And 
Maybe you and ain't fuck with none of his girls or nothing. Maybe it's something about a girl or something. No, I don't know. I mean, not 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 no ex girl or anything like that. You know. Not yeah, not that you would know of though. Type shit, you wouldn't know of it. Yeah, not. I mean, I've met a couple of his girls, so I don't know. Okay. But um, that's probably no. what it is, bro. It's usually that or money, bro. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. And then he like threw me out of his house when I drove down like with like five girls, all the way like an hour and a half in like an Uber SUV. And then I had to tell his person that was inside that we're doing the deal the next day. I was like, bro, I'm not fucking sitting outside on this curb. Like, get dude, fucking. Tell this dude to chill the fuck out. I'm going back inside. I'll wait for you to do it calmly, but, you know. And then he did. So he's like, dude, I'm just doing a big sale and whatever. Like, fucking leave him alone. And, and then he, like, tried to, there's, like, an X Games after party or some shit or uh, whatever it was. I think it was X Games at this club liaison that we were working with at the time. And we were their highest paid people and made them some good money. And it was X Games thing, and he had just won or something like that, a street league or some shit. And, and uh, and he had to. He told them like, I want, I want him. I don't want him in here. I want him to leave. You know. Oh. And they like told me like, dude, we don't want you. To, we got no problem with you, obviously. But dude, it's whatever. It's it's their night and fucking. He don't want you here. And I'm like, and then I was just caught myself like walking to wherever I went after that, and was like, all right, dude, this shit is getting annoying because he had me thrown out of some house party. He then he got, he he got like something about pulled over in a car or some shit or something. And I don't know, he had this weird idea in his head that I, because it was a night that I, he like had me thrown out of some house party. This is a, so three incidents happened like that where I'm like, okay, this is too much. And he, um, he, he had, he had thought, I guess I called the police on him and reported the car stolen. I don't even know why I would even, <laughs> why I would know the car is not his car in the first place or what even, I don't even know what he's even talking about. If he ever even got pulled over or whatever, but he, he put, started putting this thing out there. like saying, oh, he just called it. I'm like, bro, you don't even know who you tell. I don't call police. Like, bro, unless like, there's like an old person dying or something, you know? But, um, and then, yes, yeah, so I was walking and leaving. I'm like, dude, this kid's like actually fucking with my, somebody's got a blender on. So I was like, this kid's actually like fucking with my range of motion right now. Like, I have to do something, you know, and then and then that's why I just took a public course of action, like whatever, fine. I'm just gonna use this shit for fun. Like, I let's see, let's see if he wants to, you know what I mean? He's like, he's fucking me up, trying to fucking embarrass me in public. Let's see if he wants to play that game, you know? Right, right, right. And, and he didn't like that shit. And eventually, they just that his people just asked me like, "Yo, can you just stop? Can you stop doing this shit?" I'm like, "Fuck yeah, dude! Tell him don't don't bother me ever again. I won't bother him." And I was serious about this little niathlon. I had an idea. Let's play a, a game of skate. A battle of the wits, which I thought that would be funny. Just roast right. each other two minutes and a boxing right. match. And right. fuck me, I don't care, win or lose, that shit would make money. It'd be like one of them little Jake Pole fucking stunts, you know, whatever. I was like, I so he did he never accepted or he was like, nah, he that. never accepted. I'm pretty sure like his probably his agent or whoever was probably like, because even if he contemplated it, they're probably like, it ain't nothing for you to game right now. If you lose to him, it's gonna look all bad. Not saying I would win, but I mean, whatever, I can do any three of those things. This is so, the day and age of that. Look what this shit, this internet shit involved to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like there's nothing, there's nothing for him. I mean, except for the money, I have this guy who does events, Rick Silver, who does re reunited this, this uh, big like uh, they do DJ parties, house parties, all this shit, whatever. And he was like, I'll host it. And we started like scheming, like, damn, we can make some money at this, you know? <laughs> right, right. So I mean, if he ever wanted to pick it up, I would, I would. But otherwise, that, as far as I know, whatever. If we see each other, it's nod. That's it. I'm sure he doesn't want to shake my hand or something but at least since then he hasn't created problems you know so right. so for me i mean whatever it worked it got done what i wanted done i wanted the fucking thing to be done and leave me the fuck alone right 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 do, right do whatever you want we can be in the same fucking room hitting on girls like go you do it over there i'll do it over here i don't care right right fuck you care bro you're sitting on like liquid mills like fucking leave me alone bro Right, right. What, what is like? What is the deal? Like, You're like trying to step on a guy that's just like just chasing his heart, trying to make it, like trying to crush me. Like, well, I'm like, a, come on, bro. I, feel like, I still got kids. Be like, dude, you, 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 you gotta, are you, do you put that Niger thing behind you to hit me on the internet sometimes? You can't be doing. It. I'm like, just shut the fuck up, bro. You don't work. Right. Me. This is my life, motherfucker. You don't like, take that. Yeah. I'm like, you don't even know what happened. Whatever. Leave me alone, bro. Go, go, go to Niger's page and tell him something sweet. Okay. He wants to hear it. <laughs> So look, I seen um back back to uh, skating. This is more yeah. of like the business side. I wanted to ask you this because you seen some. I seen some shit that you said. And I was like, damn. Okay. You kind of gave me like, I'm, and there's no disrespect to anybody. I, don't, I hope that nobody thinks this, but it was like <laughs> how like Nipsey, the whole independent. You know what I mean? Uh huh. 
and you was talking about you broke down how a, a, a skater can make that because you did a deal. I can't remember who you said it was with, but you did a you, you made your own deck, I believe it was. Um, oh yeah, I mean I still do that. I actually have a new one coming soon, but it's a a collaboration with a friend's brand syndicate, which is some real dope clothes. But either way, yeah. Oh, I think I heard of syndicate clothing before. For sure. Oh yeah, they're pretty. They're dope. They make like fire fire pieces. Like it's actually like nice materials. The guy like really does. He's not just like pressing t-shirts. Like you know, it's making garments and shit. Well, so what? So when you came up with that theory of how you can like you know, I, it's like cutting out the middleman type shit. But it's like some Nipsey Hustle s shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I sell this shit independent. I'm gonna make the most money. Or you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because how did what, how did you get that business sense? That business because uh, your average skater or just person don't even put shit together like that. You know I don't what know. I mean? They just they you never paid attention for some reason. I was always like, we're getting two dollars a board. There's you know it used to be fifty some bucks, and I'm like, we're getting two dollars a shoe, which would be like seventy to a hundred dollars across the board. That was just the industry standard. I'm like, what? How much does this cost? I just asked questions along the way, and eventually came to that conclusion later. Like first, I did this brand selfish and. And they were giving me six dollars a board, which is three times the regular, you know. And then I dug in some more, and then the model that I use, which I still use, it's um, I told like, I told Shane O'Neill about it, and he and, and I told Tori first, and Tori ended up creating um, creating whatever he created. He thank you skateboards, you know, yeah. and uh, and I told Shane about it before he created April, and he was on like I think it was on Primitive, right? Or no, he was on a. Uh, whatever skate mental or something and and he was selling like three thousand boards a month on skate mental i told him yo if you do it like this bro you'd be like even if you you can sell like two, if you sell three grand of them at the way i'm doing bro you make like 90 90 racks or something i forget the right price. right and i'm like but whatever you could easily be making like 30 50 k a month like selling just like thousand of them a month you know and right. you know a couple thousand a month and he was like he thought i was just cook we were at chumley's house and i was like you know we're partying and whatever at least i am and uh, I don't know about him, but <laughs> like I'm I, having a good time. Uh, I'm watching. <laughs> I'm not watching what everyone else is drinking, but I'm for sure was drinking. But um, right. But uh, but he was like, "You'll cook, Jeremy. Like you'll cook. The, you, those numbers, no, those numbers aren't real. Those numbers aren't real. That can't be right. That's not right." I'm like, "Yeah, it is, bro. Here's the math. Here's how much this gamer costs. Here's the way you can do it. You can press up the heat transfer. You don't have to sit on inventory. Yada yada yada. Blah, blah. Here's a calculator, bud. Here I'll show you." No, nah, no, nah, you cook, Jeremy. You cook. And so I was I'm like, okay, bro. And then turn around and he, get, you know, whatever. I talked to Paul about it. Paul, the primitive, like three guys, like ended up doing their own brands. So whatever, they listened. But at the time, they're like, Doug, I thought I was just like woofing. You know, you, you you was before your time. You probably just that's how I'd be when you before your time. As far as with ideas and shit like that, yeah. Be like, it's like you sound crazy to them, but you like, no, motherfucker, look, pay attention. Yeah, do it this way. Look, it's, yeah. it's in your face. You can look at it yeah. right here. You yeah, yeah. I mean? Yeah. It, it doesn't help when you're like, a, I'm a black swan at the time. So, and, but the thing is, I wasn't trying to tell them, do this and give me some money. I'm just like, I don't you're know why you don't the do knowledge. this. You're giving them the I don't the know knowledge. why you don't do this. I'm just sharing. Okay. Right. Yeah. Free game. It's really free game. If you think it's like, yo, I'm telling y'all how to get some more money. Like, yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? <laughs> Yeah, and then, you know, they took it next level and made their own brand, but they obviously, like, you know, registered, and they know now what the system, because they do it. Right, right, yeah, right, right. Now they have the speed now. It's not like everyone should go. I mean, it's good to ride for brands. I, I, if I didn't ride for the brands I rode for first, I wouldn't be doing it, you know, but I did. Right. So I don't necessarily need to, or it's just whatever. I, it's not like I wouldn't ride for a brand or not promote. I'm not promoting not riding for brands. It's definitely a time for everything, you know? Right, right. Yeah, I mean... You know, that but shit is a, a, a segue to, you know what I mean? It could be a segue. It could be a yeah, segue. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, so, look, boom. Um, let me see. So, look, well, Got my water. I seen you post something today, right? Uh, yes. So, that was pretty rad. The logic thing? Yeah, Paul Rodriguez. and, and like, So, let me put everybody watching. So, um, he basically, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase it. Yeah. Paul Rodriguez was speaking. I, Logic has a podcast now, and he was speaking, and um, he basically was saying like, "You're the you're the, the number one person who he's saying that does like give zero fucks, do what they want, live by their own shit." You know what I mean? And he like, he he asked him. He started. He said, "Who, who? Which one of your guy friends do you know? Which one of your friends do you? Because you've probably been around some people or something." He said, "Who's who? Do you know that's like just 
does is it kills it the most with the girls. Like they're just whatever. And yeah, yeah. He was like fucking my friend so and so. I don't need to say my own name, but you know, because he's like right. he does not give a fuck. Hey, what anything he likes, if he likes something he's interested, he's gonna walk up and talk to him man, every time. You know, right? <laughs> the fucking. I didn't know Logic even knew who I was, which is cool because I make music. So yeah, that's fire. That's fire. Yeah. yeah. Um. So look. So what? So what made you like that? You was always outgoing like that, or you had to. Did you what was it the getting in the um the, the game or like how no, was I don't know. Me, me and Paul used to uh, used to practice like at the fucking we go to the all we know was the mall, you know, we go to Northridge Mall in Cali and we just fucking go buy some shit and walk around and try to try to talk to a girl, dare each other, go talk to that girl at the food court and shit, you know, and I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that's I, I used to do the same thing. I think that's like the protocol, like coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. That's the like training. your proving ground. Your proving training. ground is <laughs> training grounds for young kid Mackin, right? You know? in, any mall. I mean, of course, school, but any mall, school, maybe the park or something. But the mall, because it's like you can. It's going to be girls there. You know what I'm well, saying? Yeah. Now, when they go to the mall, I'm like, well, I guess when you're younger, it's different. But now, I go to the mall, and I'm like, it just the vibes different as an adult. I'm like. Shit, this is the last place I'm gonna hit on girls. No girls who don't want to talk. They don't want to be bothered at the mall if they're there shopping. You know what I mean? They're like, right, right, right. Catch me later. Yeah, I, don't know. I feel you on that. It, it is. I went to the mall different, fucking different now, well, a week, like, week ago, and it was just. I was like, I'd be like just trying to get in and get out. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's what they're trying to do too. They're like, hey, you'll get yourself in trouble. They'll be like, well, shit, you want to bother me right now? You what you you buying? <laughs> right. Like, right. Easy. What do we get? Oh, <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um. Oh, look! I wanted to ask you this too, y'all. So the Fantasy Factory, man. How, how many? How many times you went to the Fantasy Factory? Uh, that's at least a handful. So, like, yo, oh my God, that's that's so that show is so fucking legendary. Yeah. Um, I, and I never you've been to the actual place, so. That time, what, what, what's some of the most memorable shit from that that time period of your life when you was going to the fans? Um, like, or I mean, he um, well, for one, I mean, whatever that show, his his Tosh Point oh spinoff. I mean, it's on MTV all day, so it works obviously. Uh, but right. like, it's just a you know, just them a uh, place where they got organized all the YouTube goofy shit. But like, Fantasy Factor, in my opinion, or um, uh, Robin Big was. I mean, such more entertaining shows if I'm going to watch any of them, you know, but right. I don't know. One time we did some contest there and I, I don't know if, if I won or got second or something. I got a top three. I don't know. It wasn't like a contest win where I'm like, it was just a fun like, fantasy factory thing. It wasn't whatever there was. Right. I won like a fucking, a little, uh, like a little re remote control car thing or something. Not, not remote control, like a little car I could fit in driving, you know? Right, and, right, right. And, and it was just full of pennies. And what like, the fuck? <laughs> dude, I don't even know how much money was in there, honestly, because it was like, it looked like thousands of pennies. I don't know. It's just full of pennies. It was like a little fucking little flat. You, you didn't cash the pennies out? I did. I was had, to, I was making too much. I couldn't even, I didn't even pick it. I couldn't even pick it up and put it in my trunk of my car. I was, whatever. I had like a nice Benz. I'm fucking, I had a CLS. I'm like, dude, whatever. Thanks for the Yeah, keep I'll that shit. Up. You can keep that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I Wait, drove it. So, I, I, I did drive it out to my car, but then I just okay. Left it. I'm about to say you didn't even drive the motherfucker. Yeah, I don't even know how, that they'd be so annoyed, but I mean, yeah, I guess you can do it. But you bring it into a bank and just dump it on their head. I just be like, yeah, that that's fucking a thousand pennies, man. What the yeah, fuck? Oh. <laughs> Dude, there's, there's, um, there's, there's times though that I've had had sense that I wouldn't have minded those pennies. <laughs> that that's why I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? But see, I always wanted to. Do, does he still got that shit, or is that shit done? The show or the fantasy factory? The, the actual fantasy factory. No, I don't think he got it. I don't think it's a where the way like a, a viable investment for him at this point. He's not using it, you know. Right, right, right. He made his money he's, off. He's, of he's pretty he's, he's always been business savvy. Yeah. So uh, Rob did it. Um, shit. So let's get to the music, bro. Sure. So well, let's let's well, let's that's what we're gonna do. Let's let's get the understanding of. From skateboarding to music, at quote unquote, they say the height of your career, you was like the hottest. You was getting that. You was like, from what I'm hearing, this, these are the things I'm hearing. You was getting that bread. You one of the early ones who was really like getting showing that you can get money on some out the companies type shit. Yeah. All right. Why do you go rap? Oh, 
it wasn't really so much a choice. Uh, okay. Fucking Snoop Dogg told me he he fucking he told me one night, and his boys all had guns. And he said, "Bro, you got to rap." No, I'm just <laughs> Hold on, they held guns to you and said you got to rap. Rap, motherfucker, rap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, ah. Uh, <laughs> Snoop Dogg. Yo, dude, you got to rap. You got to get out of here. <laughs> you rap or die. Not trap or die. Rap or die. Yeah, so that's what happened. No, but um, I was uh, I had a, I went to a church sermon. I was a, uh, you know, I, I guess I still am a. I don't, I don't consider myself religious, so I don't know I would call myself a Christianized, but I believe in Jesus, you know, but right. I mean, Jesus wasn't Christian, Buddha wasn't Buddhist, I mean, whatever, that's semantics to me, but um, mm. but I still have my faith, so 100%, but whatever the case, I was at a church sermon, and I was, uh, you know, breakdown crying, like, not, I was never sad, just, you know, sometimes she can be moving, you know? Right, right. You know, probably, I was probably crying, this girl probably would not talk to me at church, you know? Right, I don't know, right. I'm just kidding, but, uh, <laughs> and the next day I had a music bug. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't hobby. You know. So I just uh, whatever. Once I started, I realized I like, go oh, shit. This is gonna be a problem. Like, and I didn't really have any idea the kind of problem it was gonna be. Just like what the path it was gonna take me. And then, oh, one second. Sorry. I'm not even tired. I got a, almost like a burp. But uh, long story short, I um, yeah, I pursued it. I did it for like two years behind basically closed doors. Excuse me. I put out some stuff. Um. I was getting some numbers, but like I don't think anybody cared. It was not getting re- it was not being received. Like yeah, keep that up. But I I, I had a currency, the rapper currency. Remember him? Yeah, a purple currency. Yeah. Yeah, he's real dope, and he was and he was really buzzing at the time. He was underneath Wayne at the time and doing shit mm-hmm. that was like sometimes he would stand out over Wayne. Sometimes at that time, like you'd be like, oh, this shit, this shit's different. And uh, and we were in. A, I had an Aston Martin at the time, and we were in my car and. He, for starters, he's the one who convinced me not to get to tint the windows because I always had tinted windows before that. And the one that convinced me not to put like rims on it just because he's keep the stock tires. This is a sports car. And then he's like, don't tint the windows, bro. What are you going to spend a hundred? What are you going to get a fucking car like this for? This, you know, in a couple hundred grand range or something just to to hide yourself. Like, if you're going to have right. a car, then you might as well <laughs> let people see you if you're going to get this shit. Or why don't you just get a fucking, you know? And I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, I guess that's right, you know? What the fuck? Uh-huh. Like you're buying, you're buying it to show off. You might as well show off, show yourself. Right. Then, you know? But um, so he um, but I played him a a song. I think I should try to only play him one song, maybe maybe two. But then I went to switch it just naturally. Like he's popping at the time, and I'm just brand new. I wasn't trying to over flood his eardrum or something. Right, but right. He, he was like, wait, let me hear some more of your shit. He liked it, you know. I don't know. So I played him some stuff, and sometimes that's all it takes in music is like. Some sometimes like, like public could be denying you, so I've had that many times. But then I get in a studio and I'm around a people like a, a Chris Brown or somebody like that, and I show them a record and they like it, or I show Post Malone or something and he and he likes it. You know what I mean? You know, and every time I see Post, he asks me about my music. So when I got like a public opinion that was like really difficult, tough on me for years, you know, I'm like, whatever, bro. Like. Before you, before I was was far down this path, like I was from like currency one likes it, you know, and saying it was ahead of its time and right. whatever. So you know, it is what it is. But either way, yeah, just um, I guess the end of that is that I um, I one I didn't want to milk skateboarding, which you can do pretty easily, meaning you can just keep taking money from sponsors without really doing the work. Two, someone pointed out to me the other day if I was doing skating and not like my heart fully in it, like the way I was before. And I'm like jumping down some stairs. I could, you know, you could end up getting hurt. You could whack your head and die skateboarding. But you could also like, you know, I could break my uh, like ankle in a way that I can't walk right. You know what I mean? And uh, and my body's good right now. I'm, I'm, I'm straight, you know. I made it out. That's good. That's good. So I still skate when I want to skate. But also, I didn't, I wanted to, um, well, I, I admittedly, I thought it was going to be a lot smoother transition. I thought it would be easy. I didn't think I was going down a decade of fucking hard work with no results really you know yeah yeah just about uh-huh <laughs> yeah so, yeah i thought it was just gonna be like okay jeremy quit it, it's like this. you restarted skateboarding all over again like all yeah, right yeah fuck. yeah <laughs> yeah but i thought i thought you know because i i like met with def jam right after and i thought like oh this is gonna be easy i'll do this for real professional say goodbye start over here you know but i wasn't ready i'm not the artist i wasn't i haven't gr- i grown so much as a person since then and and also i guess the main thing i was trying to say is that the um leaving it alone when I did part of it was um, respecting what I did and not like falling off in my skateboard career. So 
now, like, okay, like, I don't know, Nicolas Cage was one of my favorite actors when I was younger. Now he still does something once in a while where I'm like, ah, I like that. He's funny, you know? But then he's also done a lot of whack shit, too. So, it, it, you know, it, it messed with, you know, it, it, muddies, it muddies perception in his career. Right. So for me, it was like I retired in my prime, respected it, you know, and, and left it there. So now when I skate, it's up to my choice, whatever. Still enjoy it and can look good doing it. But um, either way, I can never... That, that, that chapter is like sealed and signed and left in like perfect conditions. So like no matter who wants to say what, like it can't, I didn't, you know, I didn't fuck it up. I respected it, left it alone, you know? Right. And uh, that's, that's what Jay-Z used to say. Remember he said, I want to leave like MJ or some shit at the top of my, you know what yeah. I mean? When he first retired, Jay-Z, the, yeah, old, yeah, the, yeah. the black album and all that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, leave, I guess the line, he said, when I come back, he, I don't know. That's what he was saying too. That is, yeah. a, a, I heard that perception from people before. Yeah, like, I mean, it's it's harder for him because he didn't have a um, shit. Not I don't know what's hard for him. It ain't nothing that's hard <laughs> for him. But but you know. But what I mean is, he. I don't think he had another passion where mm. I have his passion. I'm going down. So he just. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm here. They cut out. So if you're just, if I was just trying to. You know, he's just trying to drop a go cold turkey and then have nothing to do with his days and no creative outlet. No, you know what I mean? Right, but right. I have something else I'm pursuing. It's easy to respect it and leave it. And I never, I don't know. I could, at any point in time, if I caved, I could turn, turn around and skate my ass off and make some money. But, you know, I don't know. Universe has got me through fucking one day to another. And and uh, it's just, you know, like headlights on a car, see 20 feet in front of you, but get you across country. I've been able to, to, just move forward here or there, a little bit here or there, and and uh, whatever. Mm. I don't know. Fi finally, things are look, looking. Look, you mentioned um, Post Malone earlier too, and I had, I didn't even. It said it on your shit because I follow Post Malone too, and it was like follow. I was like, what the fuck? And you just mentioned him. So yeah, how did you? How did that connection happen? Like, did you um, there's a guy that I got into making music a long time ago. His name is Rex Kudo. Oh, I know Rex. Yeah, so he's a big. He's a big dog in production. He's got Grammys and all kinds of shit. You fuck with Rick Rubin and shit. Yeah, he took me to Rick Rubin's house before, actually, which was pretty radical. That's I was crazy. crazy. I was drunk that day. But I still remember it vividly. <laughs> but I, I should not have been that drunk at Rick Rubin's. But I don't think I did. I didn't do anything stupid. But I mean, like, whatever, you know? Yeah. But it also wasn't planned. I was just drunk from a fucking weekend party. Yeah, you just living. He, you were just He's living. like, we're going to Rick Rubin's. I'm like, okay. Um, you can't but, say um, no. Would you say no? Like, yeah, no, no, I'm done. Yeah, I mean it was nice of him to bring me, but um, but anyways, yeah, I got him and to make him. He used to um, what was it? Oh, he did a. I actually I got him to drop uh drop out of fit him, and I was gonna pay his uh like his school tuition like something like thirty grand, fifty grand, some shit. I was gonna pay this thing, so he would uh like leave school and do this clothing line for me, and while he was working on this clothing line, he ended up um. We were making music. He ended up picking up music under us. So whatever, we're square on that debt because he's made it plenty of times over now. And he picked up music, and he's the one who did Post Malone's original stuff. So I was there when Post was recording, like, like Go Flex and different songs like that. And, you know, like, I wasn't there, and then I did White Iverson. But a lot of us there, I, like, there's times I, like, slept through him doing some shit. He wasn't even popping on yet, you know? And, right. Yeah, so I, I know him from the original, whatever. From Damn, his, that's dope. When he got to the his place, the Palisades, and made made all this, made his original bangers, you know. Right, y'all. So y'all like actually are like real, like cool. Like y'all not like fake cool. Like no, I mean, I mean one thing that's crazy is that he, um, dude, which I don't see him that often because he's fucking post, you know, like Disney whatever. Fuck, yeah. But whenever I, you know, get to maybe I bump into him at some, I bump into him in New York, or I bump into him as fucking some Coachella or some shit like that. He always asked me, and he's been asking me for for years now. Um, he always he'll always say, "How's the music going?" Because we were both there making music at the, the same place, same time. And I'm like, I'm just like, bro, you sweet ass kid. Like, what do you mean for starters? <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, for starters, if you gotta ask, whatever, you know. Like, right, right. I'm in the trenches with it, motherfucker. Yeah, like, you know what I'm, I'm trying to get. I'm in the trenches with this. I'm shit. like, you don't. When, when you don't have to ask me, then you'll have your answer. Okay, post. But thanks for asking. That's sweet. You know, <laughs> he he's thoughtful. That's thoughtful. That is very yeah, thoughtful. Yeah, that's really thoughtful though. And also, it's like the totally opposite of like trying to discourage you. It's like this guy actually asked me how the music is going when he's at the top of the food chain for that shit. I'm like, I don't know. If you really care, why don't you give me a fucking feature? <laughs> no, right. I don't, I don't press him. I leave those things alone. You know. But um, but yeah. no, it, it's just it's really it's 
nice, really decent, and I and my take it as he's always been a sweet and genuine kid. So I, I mean, that's for me. That, I mean, at least to me, he has. So that's a testament of his uh, just decency and thought, thoughtful, as you put it. You know. Yeah, I mean that's that's big though, bro. Like, and I, I know that feeling of like, you know, starting from a point and you never know who you're gonna see, and then you see him like, oh, you you coming up too, you know? Yeah, what I'm yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. that's a, that's different. That's a different type of love, like you know what I mean? Yeah, he's great too. Great recording. Like when he records, like he doesn't really like. I don't know. He don't be having to redo shit much. He just kind of it just falls out of him. God damn. Yeah. Um, Post. Shout out Post. Uh, so look, I want to ask you this. this. This is music related, but I guess it's also like skate is kind of half and half. But I want to, because I seen this shit. I don't even know who this guy is. Maybe I do. I don't. Dan Corgan. You know what uh, I, I, I I recognize that name too. For Okay, so all right, that guy, right? If y'all want to look him up, anybody watching, look him up or whatever. But he was somebody, he was getting interviewed, right? <clears throat> and I clicked on it because it was at the top of like it was like in the top three of videos, like when I searched. Um, he was like, Yeah, he was he was bigging you up. He was like, he was like, um, the guy asked him, you know, how do you feel about Jeremy Rogers? And he when he, you know, leaving at the top of his shit and moving to the try and do the rap shit. You know what I'm saying? And he was kind of yeah. like, I don't want to call it a backhanded compliment because I don't even know if that's the real definition there, but he was like, That's brave. He he, he respects you, you know what I mean? That's yeah. brave of you and he was like, but he per- he was like, personally, I don't like his music, but that's yeah. great for him. Okay. How, how do you feel? Like, how does that make you feel when people, not even just particularly him, but like when people that you may know or may be aligned with or something like that, um, you know, kind of like, not saying discourage you, but have lack of, you know, like you believe in the shit. Yeah. Like when they, yeah. they don't, how, how do, do you give a fuck about that? Because remember earlier you said you give zero fucks. How did, does that, you have you ever thought about that? Because that can fuck with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, it's, like it's done, I've, 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 I've gotten more and more impenetrable, that's for sure. But uh, but the only times that I can recall, like, actually caring, like, caring, like, well, of course, there was initial, like, getting calibrated when it was like I was getting immense amounts of hate that I didn't expect for years. But that just took a little calibrated, and I was reading books at the time growing. So that I calibrated to, like, understanding, like, different things. Like, Paul put it in perspective. He was like, you have Kobe not comparing me to him. He's just using an example. If Kobe quit the Lakers to go fucking play golf or whatever, like, people are going to be pissed. They want to see him play basketball. I don't know why I didn't think of it like that. I'm like, okay, I get that. You know what I mean? Their fans right, are right. I had what they wanted, so I get that. And then, um, but then I also was able to calibrate and just be like, yo, people don't talk about what they don't think about, so you don't speak your fears and doubts out for someone else unless you have them in yourself, for yourself, you know? So when you think in those terms, like, you know what I mean? If I... If I don't think about like whatever, say gender, I'm not even gonna mention that. Oh, you're a girl, you're a guy. You know what I mean? Like, so if you don't, you speak out what you think out, or think out, speak okay, out. Okay, I ain't never about. heard that one before. I like that. Speak out. Yeah. Think, yeah. yeah. So, um, but I mean, like, I I don't know. I've had like one time, like my dad, because he's a he's a he's still a musician, but he's an architect, and he had to put it down, and take a regular job when he had me. Um, which I mean, look, he could have pulled out, bro. That's his choice, you know. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I always thank him on Father's Day. I'd be like, Dad, thank you for fucking shoot me out of your fucking nutsack, bro. That's so cool of you to do that. <laughs> I'd be like, you're so cool, dude. I, just, man, I was just one little sperm, and look at me now. I'm calling you annoying you on your birthday. Yeah, yo, you fucking you know, crazy. I'd be like, dude, I hope Nancy hears this. You know, she didn't make me. My mom made me. You know, that's his real wife. You ain't tell your dad that, yo. I do. I'd leave it on his answer machine and shit. I swear to God. He's like, I know, I know, yes, thank you. Yeah, if I got it, Jeremy, chill, just kick around. <laughs> you're the goat, like <laughs> you're the goat because yeah. I'm the goat, like. <laughs> yeah, but um, but no, but he told me one time he was like, um, you you don't need to make money off music, and I'm like, it's not about making money. It's just like I, my crave music is all I crave to do, and I'm gonna keep craving to do it for years and years, and I, it doesn't hurt like skating, so I can keep doing it, which is nice. Wasn't right. playing, but I'm glad it, if Cookie fell that way. And and I, to me, I was like, bro, okay, I don't have a wife and kids and all this stuff. I do pull out, Dad. So, like, I have time. There's there's no reason, like... You, 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 you're I don't one of the to, best ever, bro. You're one of yeah, the best I don't, ever. I don't need, yeah, I don't need to accept, like, no, I can't make money. It's not about making money, but I should be able to feed myself off it, you know? I think so. He's a pull-out kid. Yeah, and he, um, so he, um, 
you know, that time that it bothered me when he said that. And, and like, there's been times where like, I've, it has bothered me in the past times where Rex, Rex was like difficult because I was making some hot shit at his place and times where it's like, whatever he was, where he'd be a tough critic, not being a tough critic, but times where I'm like, bro, like, come on, you picked up music from me. Like, how are you not going to have faith in the whatever, you know, just whatever. Right, right. You know, but but there's only a few, a few times, like whatever. I, for, over, I mean, there, there was the whole overall when people were hating a lot. Where at first that was surprising, but once I got over that, which wasn't, I don't remember being too difficult or whatever. But once after that, yeah, I don't care. Whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm just I'm grateful someone listens, even if they don't like it. I'm just like, thanks for listening, dude. Right, right. Hey, every yeah. every every listen is you know one step. You know what I mean. Well, and now they're trying to, Congress is trying to pass a bill where um, these idiots say, but this is one thing they're doing good, but um, trying to pass a bill where they, uh, uh, the streaming services are going to have to pay one penny a, um, a thing. And I, I, don't that. Know, yeah, I don't know how much they pay now, fractions of whatever. It's way, I, know, way I know how much they pay for Spotify. They pay, fuck everything else, because Spotify is the most popular. Yeah. For Spotify, they pay a, a, a third of a penny. Yeah, fuck. I feel like it might even be less. Zero I, yeah, point zero three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So funny with these threes, but I. Um, How can you even do that, bro? I don't even know, bro. But I, I have a. I, I still need to think. So I meant to actually, but I have. I mean, I don't even know how. There's one song that has more, but there's a couple songs that did well, like random songs that just done okay. But I have 21 million streams right now on my streaming across oh, all platforms. Shit. I don't even know how. Like I checked it one day and I seen this. And I was like, what the fuck is that? Where the fuck did that come from? And one of them is a song that I like pulled, I pulled off, um, I pulled off online. This like chunky watermelon, I believe song or whatever. I, some, from some old album. It's on my, it's on my, um, it's on my Instagram. I don't even know where, maybe it's still on a Deezer or some shit like that. But some, somewhere in the world, this thing got a bunch of plays and didn't really generate much. But I did the math. I was like, shit, a penny, that would be 210 grand for me. Like, I, 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 I'd be actually eating. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, that's. I still ain't gonna go vote for you, brother. But you know, I'm talking about current guy. But right. but like, he, I'll give you a little high five for that one. Thanks. Please get us out of fucking being raped. You know, that'd be nice. Right, right. What's your what's your uh? You he raped enough kit. I mean, whatever. Nothing. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I want them to clap us, yo. You know, I, you no, know no. I don't even know what I was. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Hold on, you went black. You got to refresh your refresh your uh, screen, refresh your uh, browser. Yeah, you can't see it, right. I'm just sending you one thing, just to. To show it's you, like, so these people don't black. think I'm whooping. Oh, you blacking it out on purpose? Well, no, nah, I'm just getting this one thing to text you, just so you don't think. Uh, it's just so you know you can verify. Oh, oh, you texting? Okay, okay, I'm like, yeah. I just gotta find it real quick. I've done it in one second. There it is. Yeah, it's pretty outrageous. I don't know how the hell that happened. Where, where, where did your? Uh, how did you get your style, bro? Because when I listen to your music, bro, your shit ain't like typical. Like just all bars, this just like typical quote unquote rap. You know what I mean? Where where, yeah. where your influences come from and shit? Like how you develop your shit? Well, um, I mean, uh, we check that thing out and read it real quick. So you, it's not just oh. it's just a number, just to see, just so you can verify oh. these people. I am I'm not lying to them. I'm because sometimes people would hit me with stuff recently, and I'm just like, whatever, player. I got my numbers are up now. Oh, care. this your digital kid? Yeah, I'm like I can't hear you, bro. Oh know. yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. It says twenty one million five hundred twelve two hundred and seventy seven mm -hmm. total streams. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. So I don't know, like Germany. now. I'm, yeah. Now there's nothing. Somebody because there's no way they could talk me out of it at this point. I'm just waiting. Yeah, I seen it. I seen <laughs> yeah. it. Myself. But um, um, hold on. But no, as for the sound, I am well. You know, I mean, I used to. There's a point when he first came out. I still like him, but I, I loved Drake early on. So far gone mixtape. I still listen to Song Lost for Life sometimes, and um. Wayne was a favorite, you know, but now I don't even really, I, music, like, you know, you got to stay passionate and inspired or whatever. So, like, for starters, like, if I'm out at a club, I'll hear different stuff, but I don't even, I really, I don't even listen to rap, really, so I don't hear other people's stuff. So, at this point, I'm, like, pretty removed from it, you know. Right, I'm not right. Concerned myself with him, but Wayne said something about it the other day. He's like, I'm constantly, I'm making stuff, I'm, I'm editing in my mind or mixing, you know, whatever. So, like, I don't even hear other people's stuff. So that's why he's on his own, whatever. But, I mean, yeah, I don't, I'll, I'll hear stuff if I hear it out. But with the stuff I listen to, I listen to more, like, Salt, like, Sade is my favorite artist, you know. Oh, so Sade is so fire, bro. So I listen to Salt stuff, and I listen to the same, like, The Police or Sting. I listen to the same album over and over before I go venturing out looking for new stuff. Once in a while, I, 
whatever, but I don't really listen to much rap, which I think is okay. I mean, sometimes I hear stuff and I'm like, okay, I should do that, and these fucking fools are really good, you know? Right, but, right, right, right. But I don't know, it's not making, I don't, I'm, I'm making, I'm making enough stuff that it doesn't, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't get in my, it doesn't get affecting my, like, oh, I'm trying to take, make this sound or that sound, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm naturally, I'm a little uh, soft-spoken, so when I rap, I push it out more from the gut and yada yada, but um, I don't know, my voice is maybe, whatever, I don't know, at least if, at least it doesn't sound like everyone's, so it sounds different, which is nice. What, uh, what's your recording process like like how do you do you record at the house do you go to the studio do you freestyle do you write like how you how you do yeah um i will for starters i always keep a um a little portable studio this is not my little bag but i always have a little bag a little portable i have mic and and you know pop blocker and what i need just to to record anytime and then um (coughs) you don't need this much these days i used to think you need all this i had like expensive stuff before and i done stuff in nice studios like rex's spot which is like hundred thousand dollar board and shit like that and then i and then i've made stuff with just a mic and a fucking and and like logic or whatever you know laptop and whatever and uh, um this this band that i had for a year that we ended up breaking up before we even came out the drum was some satanist yada yada whatever but uh um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't like me very much, um, the drummer, so he broke us up, and yeah, whatever. We, we had this guy from Sublime, the bass player, Eric Wilson, was in it, but yeah. there's a singer, singer, and a guitarist that are really great, and, you know, they told me it's not about the, uh, of course you need some tools to do it, but it's not about the tools, it's about the artist. Like, saying, like, you can make some shit with a megaphone, you can make shit, you know, and the artistry wants you to learn how to do it, so yeah, so now I don't need as much, and then I, I used to, um, I started my process with, uh, Jay Z, I used what I thought was his process, which is I used to write my whole 16 bars in my brain, and then not never punch, you know. So like that probably, that that probably for years I'm sure that slowed down, because I didn't like punch anything for years. So it probably slowed down my, um, my like, um, writing ability. Output, your output. Yeah, slow down my output. Slow down my 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 ability to like. To make harder and harder bars because as the verse gets hard longer along you're like shit you got to remember everything you're not punching and it also fucked with probably my my delivery for a while so that but it said and done over the years it, it helped me like learn my memory and it's a long game you know so i get whatever so now now if i'm like out and about and like bars come to me I, i'll write it in my notes you know but i do that too i do that yeah but if i'm recording i just I, I just get as much comes to me and I, and I go and I just chisel work. I just, whatever, make, you know, whatever. But I can, you know, because of the way I did originally, I can, it's not like, a, I don't really, I can freestyle. And I like freestyling sometimes, but when it comes to music, I'm more like, I like get p- the pieces come to me and I form, I, I, I read it in my brain basically. So I, so I still write, write it, but then I. So nowadays do you punch in? So you, Cause you say you didn't punch in back in the day. Yeah, now, now I'll punch, now I'll do whatever, whatever it takes to make the record sound good, you know? That's, that's how I am too. Like I, but I used to be a, like a stickler. He wanted like, I started with the, um, I guess the Jay-Z. No, I just start with the Jay-Z. I, I had my little Jay-Z era too. This that was like, oh yeah. nine. that shit, you know, that shit was so fucking hard because I like to smoke and get high and drink in the studio. And if you get too fucked up, you not gonna remember that shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It just becomes extra work for nothing. I mean, but I, like, I'm cool. I think it's cool. Maybe we went through it. Like, it was, uh, you know, whatever. So, you know, it's challenging. So, it, it, you're whatever it makes you like probably better in the long run. You know? Right, right, right. With um, yeah. with so look, I so you, you got the thirty thousand hundred million, which is. Shout out to the base guy, bro. <laughs> what? What? I used to hang out. Why? I used to hang out. Why did you I used pick to, that? I used to hang out with that guy. He's funny. Oh, Lil B. Yeah, yeah. He's he's the man. Only. You ain't fuck with the base guy for real. Yeah, yeah. We used to be good. For, we were friends for a minute, but I haven't seen him in years. But what y'all? Where y'all meet at? How y'all link up? Who knows? You know, we live in LA. I don't know. Yeah, move Anybody around. Music, shit, whatever. Right. <laughs> So, what made you choose that beat? Oh, I don't know, and I don't know why that beat, whatever. This, that thing is so, like, do people still, like, say, like, will say those stupid lyrics to me all the time? Say, Megan's what I fit. You know, like, I'll be in that, I could be in the street, and someone's like, hey, guys, no, Megan's what I fit. I'm like, fuck. Or, like, why the fuck? Why a record got a catch that I don't ever even want to hear myself? Like, why that's something that you want? It's so stupid.
Man, you can't fuck that. You can't be ashamed of your old shit, man. That's your, I got crazy. Nah. Yo, you go on YouTube and find my old shit. Oh my God. I got these dumbass songs, bro. Oh my. And I made yeah. the beat, and the beat is fucking using stock sounds on Fruity Loops. And it just, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> that's part of the development, bro. Well, that's, fuck that. th that's right. Leave it up, if anything. Because there's things that I'd be like, oh, I would love to. Like, when it comes to my, my, um, my Spotify, my Apple. Like I've pulled down albums and stuff, and, and right. if I ever feel the need to, I'll do it again. You know what I mean? Uh, um, great. I keep that shit clean and want it like current and whatever, you know. But right. as for like YouTube and stuff that's out there, I mean, it's good because it shows like some people think music is just this mystical like um, like thing that like you just know how to do or you don't know how to do, and that's that's what I was told a bunch. Ah, oh, you'll never have a this or that or whatever. And it, it, I mean, sure, maybe some people just. Or can just sing when they're young or something, you know, go well, great. God bless them. But right. also people do learn and, and, and practice and get better and better. So leaving old stuff up like you were referring to is, well, I think it's good. So it can show people process and show people that like, yes, you can grow. If your heart feels like this is what you want to do. Yeah, it may not be overnight, but, you know, hey, shit, people go to fucking, you know. And look, and I'm going to be, and I'm going to be, I'm not, let me say this yeah. too. I wasn't. Yeah. I forgot, I forgot that motherfuckers did talk shit about you about that song, but I'm saying because I was I yo the bass guy is like one of my favorite rappers. I talked to him a few times and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was about to get him on a feature in the beginning of the pandemic, but I just ain't do it, man. I I I, I had the bread, I just ain't do it. But um, that song specifically, but you know what I'm saying? That was one of my favorite bass guy songs. Like that was on the Soldier Boy album. I, I specifically, me and my niggas used to be. Cooking yeah. and shit. like I used to be yeah. we used to like yeah, fuck he, what uh, they say, bro. That's legendary. Fuck yeah. what them niggas say, bro. Yeah. He's he's a he's smart. Um he's a smart kid too. He used to wear these dirty ass shoes, so dirty, and he was like, I'm not changing these until I got a million, you know. Right. Marketing. And, and he was just smart. I mean, he's just, he was smart too. Like he wasn't like uh he just I don't know, he just he makes all kinds of random music sometimes he makes Sometimes, but I've seen him on like um, on um, one of these like freshman something things where they like freestyle or they or you, most of these rappers don't freestyle. They'll just like rap a verse they have. You know what I mean? That they right. have to out. But like, or or maybe they freestyle in their own time. But most of them, when they go on them shows, they don't be. I can tell when someone's actually freestyling or when they're spitting some shit they just haven't spit for you yet. You know? Right. But, right. Um, but he went and he like freestyled and he rapped on some some beat and there was like um other cats that were like there that were really good. I can't even remember who else was there. She, like, I don't even know, Kendrick might have been there, but there was like other cats that expected to like, <sighs> Lil B's rapping with us, expected like whatever. And he was like, just so in the pocket, so buttery. They could tell he was freestyling too. And just like, not like, cause sometimes he does some random crazy off shit. I'm Ellen DeGeneres, random, you know? <laughs> But he that was, was like, my shit. That is my yeah. shit. Uh, but they were looking at him though when he rapped on this on this freshman thing. They were like, "What?" Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone yeah. was he, like, "What the he fuck?" He flipped it up. He flipped it up. Like that was the beginning. In my yeah, opinion, he, he like, actually like, he is good and can do what he wants. He just be doing all kinds of shit. You know. In my opinion, he is like he can rap too when he really wants to. But overall, I think his greatest contribution is he's the first ever like troll, like hip hop real troll. Yeah, he is, he is. It made motherfuckers go crazy. Like, they, yeah. they didn't understand. But once once I finally got, I said, oh, he can rap for real. He just doing what the fuck he want to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, he's the same way. I mean, but, I mean, Riff Raff is almost like that. I'm not, yeah. I actually have a song with Riff Raff. We did a, a song. Oh, shit. Him, but, yeah, we have a song and a video. And, uh, but he, um, he was, um, he, he, I don't think, he's not as, I don't think he's calculated as Lil B. Like, Lil B, like, essentially doing this weirdo type stuff sometimes. Yeah, he's trolling. Yeah, like trolling. But Riff Raff, he, um, he, like, I just think he, like, his music abilities are like, he, he, sometimes he can make a hot record. He got this record, Dolce Gabbana, and the record we did, he sounds good on it. And, but then sometimes it's just like, I don't know, he'd be wanting to sing and do these different things that he's not really, he's not the greatest at right now, you know? So sometimes he'd be making this weird sound and shit, but he only carries, for starters, he's taking the dudes in like McLaren's and shit somehow now. Like, <laughs> But he right. just keeps, he just keeps making and putting out stuff, and which is cool that like he just he just whatever is just making music is fun for him, you know. But some and then sometimes he hits and some shit is hot, you know. But he can do it. He just uh, I don't know. He don't care. He just whatever. <laughs> do you uh like what? Do you represent an organization? Do you have your own? Or is it just you? It's just yeah, not, not right now. I mean, I started doing this um 
this deal with this guy Peter Raffleson who op- who wrote Open Your Heart for Madonna and it's from Ellen John. He's got like three hundred million sold, and this guy Lou Rawls, who whose dad is Lou Rawls Sr. He's he, the old singer, like Black Frank Sinatra cat. And we did a deal. Honestly, it was supposed to. Peter was supposed to raise five million dollars to do a label with me, and I had this girl band. I'm not gonna say the name because I still want to use the name, uh, the, for the band name, and um, and some other people. And I don't know. We the guy died, and we just ended up whatever fell out. I actually talked to the guy Peter the other just last night, but um. But um, but as of right now, yeah, I don't know. I'm just yeah, just myself. Uh, I, I I I'm not against like signing with somebody, but I w- I would I'd love to just keep getting some traction. If they change that thing to one penny, we can actually make some money that I can actually like have legs to stand on, where I can you know like I'd love to you know make a label and run our own shit and partner with a whoever some a, you know so it's a subsidiary for somebody. You know what I mean? Right. Or, or also, I would never ever tell Wayne no if he ever whatever. You know what I mean? If we ever, it's just I've been around him, but I never, um, never showed him something. But I'm at the point now where if I next time I ever see him, I'm Wayne. I gotta show you. I want to show you a song. You know what I mean? Right. Well, you talking about with Wheezy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was one of my favorites, so I'd love to. I would. That's like a, one of the only labels I would would want to be. Did with you, just did you say me. earlier? Was I did I hear right? Maybe not just now, but earlier, earlier. You was like, uh, what did you, did you mention Kendrick? Not just just now, but earlier. Um, earlier, I mentioned uh, Jay Z and Wayne or, or Drake too. Uh, I like their, you know what I mean. I thought you said you ran into Kendrick or something. No, no, no. I never met Kendrick. No, nah, no. Nah. Okay, okay. I was just making sure. I'm like, hold on. That's no, I mentioned fucking... Kendrick because I think he might have been at that freshman freestyle thing or whatever with with Little B. That Lil oh, B. with Little B. Yeah. But no, Wayne, I mean, we know each other and whatever, but he's, uh, I think I'm getting to the point where I told somebody like Tori, like, bro, I might actually ask you to, for a favor because whatever he's, he's fine with it. It's like when I, when you like a record and I choose to, I might ask you to send Wayne a record, you know, so mm-hmm. contact, but we, he knows me and yada, yada, but they, they're, they're actually like, they do their own shit. The, the young money thing. I don't care about being mm-hmm. late, but I love the rapper with Wayne some, some point in time in my life. And also, um, they actually like, there are people actually get paid, like Drake, Nikki. They actually make money, you know what I mean? And yeah, it's actually, working like, over there. If people are working over there, they like they 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 get shit done, and you know what I mean. As opposed to like a lot of other labels, where it's just you know what I mean. I don't know. They they're just they're how many songs that. can you do in one day? I don't ever. I mean, I've done it before, but I don't even. I never really. Uh, there was a there was a time in Boston where I was like fucking. For like this three month kind of bender, just making a dumb bunch of stuff, and sometimes I stay up for a few days. And I'm, I'm still releasing stuff that I made, like where I'd be up for a few days to put my hands again dry and dehydrated and shit, you know. And I, right. then I'll start, and I'd have to go to sleep and then start again. But, but typically, I mean, if I'm being like a not a lunatic, I'm just one at one a day. It's, it's if I even do one a day. You take it easy. Not, you don't really rush. Yeah, yeah. I just do one, work through it. It's not like I couldn't push more, but I just. Take my time with one song because I mix and engineer it and everything too. So like, you did I, tell me that that slows me down because I don't like. Sometimes I don't know if I like it or not, but it's like, like the point of where I'm like making something, and I'm mixing it um, real time. So I do like some some bars or something, and then I'm mixing it. I'm adjusting. I get in there. I cut this. I'm taking this little down, just notches. I'm getting so like anal retentive with it or whatever. And um, and then I do that before I even move on. So, you know, the process becomes tiring. Like sometimes I'm like, should I just get all the vocals out first and then mix it after? But the thing is, like, I like when I go to bed, I'm done and it's clean. I can wake up and hear it and it's and it, and it sounds good because sometimes and then also if, if I don't get it, mix it and adjust it. Sometimes that little mix and adjust is what, OK, this is sitting right. It's just good. And if I don't do, I could be moving on for no reason. I, I don't love to. I don't really love coming back to records in the sense of like vocally. Mm. I, I like it to. I like it to come out in one sitting. You know. So. Yeah. I, so you you, just, you you don't even you don't say shit and then come back like a year later. No, not really. Like pretty much, if I don't finish a record in a the night, then I probably never going to finish it. <laughs> it's over with. <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm trying to get better at that because I have like started something where I like, I did something. and It's a good hook piece. I'm like, okay, there's nothing wrong. I can come back to that later. I can, you know. Right. But I don't um, know. It feels oh, like a I'm fucking. I'm gonna ask you this too. So do you? So all right, all right. First of all, so y'all, I, I was under the impression that his ass was in L.A. This he's in. What part of Columbia are you in? 
I'm in Santa Marta right now. Um, it's a, a little beach town on the Caribbean Sea. It's kind of near Cartagena. I go to Cartagena next, and I've been I've been back and forth here for the past five months. Um, I go to Florida to pop in because you can only stay three months at a time, uh, six months out of the year. So I, whatever, I've just been using up my time here. And then, I don't know, so I have some some wealthy friend who will remain nameless, not in the real world, but right now. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. He does like 36 real estate developments in Costa Rica. And he's the one who convinced me, come live in Colombia, Jeremy, you'll love it. I thought I was going to come and stay with him. Once I got out here, he, I haven't even seen him the whole time I've been here. He hasn't what's been around. The, what's the vibe like out there? Um, well, I mean, definitely you got to be like uh, aware. There is like, I've heard of a person or two getting robbed at gunpoint at Cartagena, but that shit happens in LA too, you know? Um, facts, facts, but for facts. the most part, <clears throat> There definitely is like, um, there's a lot of poverty, you know, but there's also money and nice areas and, you know, Cartagena is beautiful. You know, there's really, there's tons of really beautiful women, but I can't speak Spanish. I haven't really given a real effort yet, so that sucks because here's actually, I think in Mexico, like a lot of them will speak English too, but here they mostly just speak Spanish. So I, I don't talk to too many people. Um, Damn, you got to learn that, man. I know. I got to learn. I got to start trying. I always had a I, I know Paquito. I took it like three years in high school and failed each time. I only took it because the girls. And I failed each time, but somehow I learned shit. Ain't that yeah. shit? <laughs> yeah. I always had this theory of like, I, I can never learn enough in my own language. Like I still, I'm always, I'll always want to read a new book and like, gather more information. So like that, that's kind of, that's before what I stood on why. Like I'm never going to bother learning another language because I can just crack my back. I could never learn enough in my own language. Right, but right. now that I'm spending and I'm going to probably spend the whole year in South America for the most part, um, I, whatever, yeah, I got to do it. So it's regardless. Fuck my, That's my fire as fuck, bro. I did not know you was over there. I'm like, oh, shit. I thought you yeah, were I mean, in LA, bro. I got, no, I got no kids, no girlfriend. I don't yeah. think I got a girlfriend. I'm pretty sure I don't. Um, <laughs> and uh, so, like, I don't know. It's cool. I just bounce around. I go somewhere, stay in this area for a little bit, stay in this. I'm going to try, like, Peru and Mexico City next and... You know, Damn, um, so you just chilling. You really on like your own personal tour type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and then you know I have my stuff with me, so I just make music and and out here it's cool to shoot. Like we put some shot, some video that was on my page the other day, and it's it was easy to shoot. The fucking shit is so beautiful. The city, the whatever is, you know, gives you a nice and a change of a uh, change of environment. You know, it looks good. It looks like, mm -hmm. you know, and I mean, but you have to be making. But if you make a little American money. It's it is worth more over here right now. You know what I mean? Like, right. In America, your money ain't worth worth shit over there. It's just, so you gotta have a lot. If you have some money over here, you're pretty you're good. It's, if you can keep making it somehow a little bit, you can be all right. You know. So look, I wanted to ask you this too. I meant to ask you this earlier. What's <clears throat> like when, the first time? Everybody has a time where they just fall in love with the craft, with the with the, yeah. with hip hop, with the music, with the. Mm -hmm. Do what was your? Do you remember your first time really falling in love? Like, oh, this is dope. I, I can do this. I want to do this. Or what? Did you see something? Was it a song, a CD? No, like, I never. Ooh. I never. It was that church sermon thing. I never. Um, it was just that. I, I never. I never. Before that, I had never. My like. Um, you know, like most people like try to freestyle and fuck around and shit like that. I used to have this friend, this this kid, uh, he's from this, uh, he started this gang called Baby Insane, or whatever. Mm -hmm. there, there was like some insane crypts or whatever, but they, there was some from Long Beach, and shit, I, lo I love that kid, but he's, he's been in jail for like over a decade and stuff, and he keeps the faith, side sidetracking, but he's always like, he's like, oh, I'm, a, I'm appealing this and this and that, and I'm like, okay, Lionel, like, okay, brother, I hope, you know what I mean? Fingers mm -hmm. crossed, but if ever you get out, I got you, you know? Um, but he keeps the faith, man. He really does. Or sure, sure seems like it. But um, but whatever the case, he um, he used to be able to rap his fucking ass off, you know, like freestyle. And I'd always do it at like a party, like wow, rap for these fools, you know. I thought it was cool, but it never ever crossed my mind. I never tried to freestyle. I just, you know, never listen to. How do you how you choose your uh, production? Um, I got to um, I started producing something yesterday. I need to produce more because. The records that I have, that I got this record Star Talk with that girl Aniko on it, and I got mm -hmm. this, um, um, and I got this other, the other one that is that did like done the, the most views, and that one is they're both records that I produced. So like, I guess I need to do that more. But for me, it's like even with production, you could probably do it quick. But once I sit down and produce them, 
that'll take me the whole day too because I just geeking out and whatever. So like, it's hard for me because my passion is to record and that. So if I start a production, I'm not going to be able to record that day. And once I start producing, I'm going to want to record and whatever. But but I, I guess I need to just trust the trust the numbers, trust the waves, and take more control of my stuff. Because when I produce, then I can I'm hearing it from an artist standpoint, so I can like see how things can scene change. And sometimes I hear beats, but I, I like the beat and I'll use it. But I'm like. You know, it could be one sound that I don't want in there or just things that you can control the instead of just having full jobs, you can control and just pull back this and leave just the trumpets in or whatever. So, I mean, but I just sometimes I just got to go and like just go through some beats and find something just just because I feel like rapping at that time. You know what I mean? But, yeah, just on some just on organic, like organically. Yeah, just like go to some, oh, that jumps out of me. Let's just start start there or whatever. Kind of with um, some lines and build. But but I'm I'm gonna try to produce more because I don't know yeah the thing I started the other yesterday was I actually was like I was listening to that old record Lust for Life I never really tried to make something like some but I I checked the tempo what tempo was it, it was 176 and then I was happy I cut it in half which is 88 and I'm like oh I always I like numbers I'm like oh 88 infinity that's cool so I made some at the started to make some at the same pace I started I wanted to make some this like slow interlude type thing and. It totally turns into something different and whatever. So I, I like it and I just, yeah, uh, whatever. I gotta just, I, whatever. I gotta like, trust it and I guess we do that more. Cause I, I know how to do it. I just don't do it that much. Yeah. Um, look, I wanna ask you this too. So, um, you know, like after I initially had met you at the, on, on Melville at Brooklyn Projects, um, I seen right after that, you went and did uh, a No Jumper interview and you was talking about all that shit with uh -huh. um, Najee Houston and all that, whatever. So, who? I'm just kidding. Yeah, right, right. So, I, I do you are you still in tune like with the whole like the state of the no jumping shit right now? I, I mean, yes. Uh, like they I mean, super gang banged out now. It's like super gang banged out. Yeah, and also it's like also just like just like he be honest. Like I mean, that's cool. Whatever, shoot, I I wouldn't really give a fuck. I would I could do some OnlyFans with a girl. I couldn't care less. Really, I'm not. You know, but right. <laughs> but. <clears throat> I know he's on that all just as like porn stars and this and that, which is fun. Have a blast. He's probably tired of bringing on fucking stupid ass rappers on there that he don't care about, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so, I mean, that's definitely more fun for him. I give it to him. But, but, but he, he's, I mean, God bless him. I'll, I, I'm, he's always been cool with me, but he, uh, he's definitely like different. Like, he'd be honest with like, it's like weird shit. It's like, you know, and like, like, like maybe like too much porn or something can like almost like fake, make you half retarded, fuck your brain or something, you know? He'd be just like, he like weird with it too, like I don't know, just the way he. Who are you talking about, about, Adam? Yeah, he like almost like like, he, gay like with it's it. overly, like it's overly. Yeah, and, like overly and almost gay with it, which like if you're gay, all good, but be like, oh yeah, he got that the pipe pies. Huh? Is this is this? We old Drake got a pipe pies. Huh? He's serving the pie. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm just like, bro, all right, bro. Hey, that's what they be saying about him too. Like they're like, man, you fucking gay, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, who knows? I don't know. Which is fine. You know, you know the motherfucker struck my channel the other day, bro. They what? They gave me a fucking copyright strike. Oh yeah, what does that mean? You had to pull something down, see some decisions. No, they 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 put it's a false one because no, I I, I counter notified them and now they have to serve me court papers in ten days, which they not. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not even yeah. monetized on this channel. I'm monetized on my other channel, but yeah, them motherfuckers. That was the first time I done had a few different people hit me with a copyright, but it was in fair use. You know what I'm saying? I'm like. They kind of motherfuckers in the comments like, yeah, we told you, you need to be no jump a K now. I'm like, oh, y'all want me to, y'all want me to jump in the fire with y'all and just go. But I just don't, you no, know, I, I spoke my mind on it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, it either was, it either was Adam or Josh. Like, who else gonna got the access to the fucking? I know how this shit go. I do YouTube. I know it's a three step process. You don't accidentally, uh, your elbow hit the keyboard and it fucking gives a. It don't. They ask you, are yeah. you sure? Dude, yeah, it's a whole process. I was explaining that to my homie YK 808. Shut up, YK 808 Mafia. He didn't want to believe. He's like, maybe it's the AI. No, it's not the fucking AI. On the bottom of the thing, it says person issue. Who issued it? It says no jumper, nigga. Like, yeah. There's so I was like, oh, y'all some bitches for that, bro. Like, yeah. nigga, I used to be out there trapping. That's why I told y'all. That's that's around that time I met you. That's what the fuck yeah. I was doing out there. I was meeting people and trapping, nigga. That's yeah. that, it, clean. Keep you know what I mean like. Yeah. Like motherfucker, but yeah, what you think you about the shit he, he let the dude fuck his wife? Oh, would I you mean, ever would you ever for any amount of money let some dude fuck your girl? I personally 
I mean, that's a pretty like a uh, three million dollars on tape. He dicking her down. She eating the nut out of the whole thing. The whole. Oh, I mean, I don't. Per me personally, you could run that all day. I don't care personally. I'm not. I have a different vantage point when it comes to that stuff. Where I'm like, I not putting myself on some like alien or whatever, but I feel like um, I don't know. Like I've removed. I haven't been like in a relationship for years and I've removed myself from like regular human affairs. So like, I just don't have that type of, uh, I think sex is dope. Like whatever I could, she could fuck someone else. I could fuck someone else. I just don't care. I don't have attachment to it like that. So for me, it's nothing. And also I would do it just cause whatever it's like, sure. Like whatever I'll, I'll be in the middle. I'll fuck. You can fuck a little. I'll make a song. I don't care. Whatever. Keep, keep that bitch entertained. I don't, yeah. For me, I don't care personally, but, Right, I'm right. I'm not gay or bisexual, but for me, yeah, for sure. What what made you like that? Like detaching from like the women? Did you go through a bad relationship or some shit like that? No, no. I mean, I still love them, but I just don't have the. Uh, I'm saying, not trying to get. You yeah. sound guarded. You sound like me, motherfucker. Like a little bit, like yeah, like. Well, I ain't or really maybe it's like, the maybe it's the opposite of guarded. I'm just like I just don't care. Like I'm not worried about being in a relationship with you or anybody. So I, I just don't care. Yeah, go yeah, go fuck him. Like yeah, leave me alone. Whatever. I'll see right. you later. You know, I don't know. I fucking I've run around I've ran around with plenty of women so I don't care if they do it and whatever it's also just I don't know yeah I'm just that I don't I don't see myself ever being in like that lovey dovey type I I have love I have nothing but love for women but in that type of like oh my god no look at my you know what I mean I was never even that way like I'm like yeah bitch go ahead wear some wild shit and make these people fucking break their necks you know right 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 you ain't tripping you ain't even tripping already. yeah yeah but yeah. he's he's definitely if he's he he has an edge to him where I'm like hey, maybe he's gay I don't know but that's not that's, <laughs> why that nigga you said that shit too <laughs> I well, think he's gay but he might be gay, gay. <laughs> yeah but but mine isn't like that mine is more I just don't care it's not it's not what I care about <laughs> he said motherfucker I mean maybe he's gay look oh let me ask you All this right. too bro <laughs> you funny as fuck oh I wanted to ask you this about Demarco okay Again, nothing, wrong, nothing wrong with that. It's, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm, I'm just laughing at you because you just, it's so, it's so like, it's just smooth. Like, I mean, if it ain't gay, he's just gay. Look, no, this is what I want to ask you in the mark. So I listened to the EP. Um, What's the name of that, the three song EP again? I didn't write it down. Um, With, with Big Appetite and. um. Oh, dude, I, that's, that, uh, that's some old stuff that I, I made with one producer and he, he put it out under. That name under my actual name, so he has my actual full name for Spotify oh, and Apple. Oh, see, I was he wondering. Made, I was he made the account, so I don't even have like I. Well, I actually like how mine is now. I was born at three thirty three, so yeah, with my, the three. My yeah. name spells all E, so I like it. Whatever uh, is you know, it ended up making me do that. But yeah, he. I mean, I'm sure I could probably do whatever. Send him some season, you know. But he has my he has my actual name account, so I can't even. Uh, but I, I could probably get a pull, but I don't, I don't care. He's only got those few songs, and he doesn't put anything else. As long as he's not putting out stuff under my name that we didn't that we didn't make, I don't agree on. But look, but yeah, so I, this, I was going to ask you on Marco Polo, this, and this is why I kind of was saying, why would you like that? As far as we say, man, I, I just, I'm just detached from the chicks. I don't we fucking around, yeah. whatever. I because you said on there, he was like, um, you said, let me hold on, let me let me. I wrote, he said, oh you oh you you was like, you you spoke on like. I I take the wedding ring right off your chick, you know what I mean? Right off your finger type. So look, let me ask you this because that's how I was, and this is what I was trying to get to. So, me personally, right? It's like sometimes, like I don't, I don't, I don't aim to be messing with other guys' chicks. Sometimes a woman will yeah. withhold some, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when I see things like that, or if I see just different shit like that, like deceiving shit, that kind of makes me that type of shit makes me like. See, I don't want to be that dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the dude, he don't even know. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's like yeah. I was. I was asking you, have you ever been through something like that? Like, you met a chick and she happened to be married for real, or had a was in a relationship? Like, yeah. I mean, look, if it's like, if it was you, or if it's my friend or somebody I know, um, mm -hmm. like, um, you know, I'm not gonna get and try to. I respect that. You know what I mean? Right. right. Um. So whatever. I was like, it's just off the table. But I mean. Just some girl in a relationship, this and that. I, if she's faithful or not, or whatever, that's her problem. I don't, I don't, I personally don't care. I don't have any moral 
whatever you call with it, more issues with you it. Like savage, bro. Yeah, I mean, if she wants to fuck around and she's not like, that's her problem. If she's got a relationship, right? Maybe, right, maybe right. she shouldn't be having one then. You know, like I don't know. I'm like, just, there, I'm, just as, as you pull up your pants, you shouldn't be having one then, my bitch. Yeah, I'm, I'm just feeling guilty. Have, you know, I'm just there just to be like, you know, just I'll just there to help to help her realize you just probably, probably shouldn't have a relationship. Right, right. <laughs> just, trying to, just trying to do a favor, bro. I'm just good. It's good therapy. You might bring it closer. You might bring it closer. Yeah, who knows? Maybe should be. You know, I don't know how that will happen, but you know. <laughs> Yo, you a fucking sad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Okay, look. A couple more. A couple more. We gonna wrap up. A couple more. We gonna wrap up. So, okay. Look, yeah. I wanted to ask you this too. Um, the whole video game shit. Like, how? What's the process behind getting in the video game? How do they? Do you got to go? See, I be seeing shit on like they yeah. stand up and scan you and shit. Like, how well, this, this new one that I just went and did. Um, is real cool. One. Sorry. I'm a, when I'm on the phone or talking about something I care about. So I'd be a bit of a pacer. Hopefully, I didn't make anyone dizzy. Um, no, you good, bro? Yeah, I, probably, I think I probably, probably played for Indiana Pacers in another life. Or <laughs> but, um, Are you good? But um, so yeah, this one that I just did the other day, they made it for um, excuse me, they made it for a uh, dude. When I when I'm I'm funny, I guess my parents raised me some manners, I guess. Even though I will still take somebody's girl if I don't know the people, but uh, <laughs> but otherwise that yeah, I'm nice and polite. So I'll be I'll burp or something, and I'm. Excuse me. I'll be sitting there recording by myself. I burp and I still say, excuse me. There's no one around. I'm like, excuse me. Right. <laughs> Fucking weird. That's because your mom from Richmond, man. That's that Southern, you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But, um, so yeah, this one I did the other day, they, um, well, actually it was like a year ago. We shot, I went to the studio. It was called 40 Studios. And it was in a big, a big old, like big dome. Not huge. It was big enough. Like, I don't know, maybe like, you know, like, uh, 15 feet wall to wall or something like that, you know? So it's a big dome and, um, and it had like 50 cameras, I think it could have been more, but each one of them, there's these, these cameras that were 30, $36,000 a camera and these yeah. cameras and they're like this and they're, they're planted like, like there's like one here, one here, one down here, 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 all around. So like when I go in there, we did things like, like I skated, I did some tricks which I can't roll. I'm just standing still in this, in this situation, you know, cause I can roll or I'm trying to not fuck up and launch and break one of these cameras, even though they're asking me to, to do it, but I still don't want to break anything. And, um, and then, uh, and then I shot like some music videos in there, but either way, and that thing too, I think it was like, I think it, I think when it logs the whole thing from the digital imprint from all the different cameras, if I remember correctly, I think it takes a whole terabyte of space for like one fucking thing. God, damn. Like, like it's like a lot like they have this huge like mainframe and they gotta log all this stuff and so we shot music videos and skating but the thing the cameras are all so once the thing's logged in there you can like see it from all these different angles and it's actually like a digital rendering that one like tony hawk originally was a uh, we i sat down in the in a chair and uh the thing like spun around 360 and uh and it like just laser scanned your ass in you know yeah. and uh and then, but that everyone had the same style because they just scanned and they just put you on this, whatever goofy ass little monkey style it had. <laughs> but right. this one, this one was cool because it actually it's your actual movements and stuff. So your swag, your movements, and then um, and then it's actually like a digital rendering. Like it's not just like camera footage. I don't know. So it looks it's just like super high level graphics. I don't know. It's, it's cool. And that's for like VR. I don't even know. I don't. I don't own that VR thing. So I don't. Oh, I don't they got that shit. You, do you in the VR game? Yeah, there's a new one that I just am in now called uh, Scenes or whatever. And, you know, maybe there's some music videos. I don't know. It's almost like NFTs. Like, there's some skate tricks some music videos. There's different artists. You can go around these different things. But, yeah, it's for it's only for the uh, Apple Vision. Uh, oh, that's Apple. hard. That's hard to I, I, I don't have them, so I haven't even I haven't even seen it. I mean, I, I haven't even seen it. I just seen that thing I posted on, online the other day, but I, I don't even know. I'd like, to, I'd like to try a pair and see what it's like, you know. No, that shit is fire. Know. Oculus, they, all that shit is fire. Um, I yeah, haven't tried say, the new Apple one, but the Oculus is fire. Yeah, they say it's a game, but I don't know how much. I mean, I did certain tricks. Like, I did a handful of tricks and things. So I think those are more like, it's, I hate the word NFTs, but I think they're almost like that. Like, you can buy, yeah, like, you can buy, like, the imprints of things or buy a music video or, see, you know, and I don't know. I don't know how much of it is. So, like, so do they pay you in one in one payout or you get residual type shit? Um, that one, I... I did it like because it was like cutting edge what they were doing and um, 
and we and we did a contract where the um the royalty is really really um artist predominant you know what i mean like you get right. like artists get the majority of it so like i have no idea what it's gonna do it just came out just about a few days ago so oh shit so like you know who knows maybe i'll make some royalties off it i mean it was, it's cool doing whatever they're ahead of their time with their the shit they're doing and how they're doing the, the graphics and how they render you in so hopefully it becomes something either way the thing it looks cool and whatever and i have hey, look, I, got, I got one final one final question for you too. yeah you good <clears throat> that picture you sent me, bro, that I, that I put in the thumbnail. Explain that night, man. Explain that night to me. Give me that night. What was you doing? Where was you at? Oh. I see who's in the picture, right? <laughs> who's in the picture for people who have who don't know? Um, the picture? It's um, Chanel East Coast. No, I'm kidding. West Coast and uh, and um, Christina Million. Yeah. Right. What was that night? What the fuck was going on? I used to drink too much. I couldn't tell you really. Um, not because I couldn't, wouldn't tell you. I don't know. We just had some event, some party, something. And uh, I don't know. It wasn't me who inspired. I didn't ask them to take a photo. I don't know what I was what I was doing. I wouldn't have been, Christina's cute, but I wouldn't even like talk to her like that because she's, I actually like respect Wayne and whatever. And I know, you know, right. it was his Oh, like, yeah, girl. yeah, yeah, right. It right. was his girl. It was like his girl at the time or something. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. They just, somebody asked, can we take a photo of you guys? And, uh, Next thing I know, I got like Christina under one arm and and Chanel under the other. Pretty player, pretty player. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. Player. Yeah, and I looking like a fucking <laughs> looking like a mountain man, bro. I had my long ass beard at the time. <laughs> yeah, you had you had you had the you had the blonde swoop over. I don't know yeah, it's like the a swoop shirt. with the silk shit or some shit. Like I'm like, oh, he on some shit. And this bitch, <laughs> what the fuck? It was a fun night. I mean, definitely a fun night. I wish I could remember more of it, but I, I, I mean. Didn't have a threesome with him. I remember that. I right, right. You definitely remember that's something you remember. Yeah. <laughs> when, um, so what you got coming up next, bro? Like, what can what can people look forward to that you able to talk about? You know what I mean? Um, I mean, well, um, I'm trying to put together something with this 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 corporate brand right now. Some thing where it will basically like, if the deal goes through, it will give me this funny. I'm not, I can't really sell because I want to they have a certain marketing budget for this and they have like this tour bus thing or whatever. So I want to, hopefully if I get, if I that thing goes through my old agents, like uh, trying to set it up or whatever, or just, just started the other day, but if that goes through, then I'm probably going to like do a tour around America, like do demos and, and music shows and stuff, you know, and you get paid for driving their fucking tour bus and stuff. And oh, uh, so it's going to be like a kind of music and skating type shit. Yeah, I'll do both. You know, I'll just go to skate. If I hit every, I, you could pay for the year to drive this fucking bus thing, and uh, I would do a different deal, like an artist deal, like saying we're gonna do events and put together events, so people actually come out, and I'm repping their thing, and then, uh, and then, I, and then I get the bus to use out of it, you know, and and um, and yeah, I do a bunch of demos and shows and just whatever, start opening that that portal. I also like to put together something in Europe because I have good um, traction in Europe, you know, like I could go do like demos and uh demos and music show that's what i really want to put start putting together like demo music show combo things you know what i mean like mm -hmm. a fucking do a skate demo skate with people here like cook out whatever and then like do a show at night after you know um, with, uh any new music or anything you song or anything you looking to drop yeah, i don't know i don't have like i haven't i haven't performed for a minute i've done it before in the past enough times but i haven't for a minute so i don't have any set right now or something i just as of right now i'm just gonna keep just i'm i I make stuff and I'm whatever. I, I I don't know if I want to set a schedule for myself because it turns it into work. Meaning like, like because I've thought about like I'm I have enough still stuff I'm sitting on and if, I'm always sitting on something better than I put out. So people always if someone likes something or, or doesn't like something. They're like, oh, there's I don't know. People are funny with music. They always they always act like they like you. You put out one song and like they they think that you're your your all your eggs are in one basket. Like you think it's the fucking you know like they'd be like ah oh, this is either. Yo, this is the one, this is the one, or or this ain't it, chief, or whatever. And it's like, <laughs> it's, I'm like, bro, either way, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, bro, it's, I'm, this, I'm giving you, like, I'm getting rid of this now because I won't put it out later because I have better music I'm sitting on. So I'm just getting rid of it just because I think it's cool enough and whatever, and leave me alone, you know? Right, but, right. Um, just on some yeah. organic, like you said, organic. Yeah, just make, you know, but yeah, so, I, so what I was saying is, yeah, I don't, I don't know about, like, doing, like, 
it's maybe it's smart if I'm like, okay, every Friday I'm gonna drop something because I have enough to put to do some once a week, and I'd like to do some once a week. But I don't know. Maybe it's smart so every Friday they can expect. As of right now, I'm just kind of at random, like pull the trigger, drop another, pull the trigger, drop another. So, but since I'm getting some numbers, I, I'm just gonna keep swinging my axe because that's all that's worked. And you know, I mean, it's it's whatever. It's, you know, that's it. Some some go better than others, so I just just keep swinging the axe and. You gotta put up shots. You gotta shoot. Yeah, just keep put up shots, and I mean, I love when like Wayne and Fifty Cent. They both did the same type of like. They just were just bleeding out music so much. You know what I mean? And just over bleed more than other people. It's, it's a different time. Out people's attention span is different. So like, you know, people don't listen to whole mixtapes and albums as much, and it's not it's not really worth it to put out whole projects unless like people. You're on some Drake shit, and people are really gonna sit down and listen to your shit. Otherwise, it's just like it's fun. You just make music, put some shit out. You know what I mean? Whatever. So yeah, yeah. What's your handles? What's your? What can they follow you on your Instagram? Your YouTube? Oh. What do they need to yeah. follow? Um, I yeah, I I still put stuff on YouTube, but I don't know. I mean, we don't reach. Just use my name, I guess. But um, but mostly I use Instagram and uh, you know, Spotify and Apple and whatever other platforms it goes to, but. For Instagram, it's uh, J-E-R-E-M-E, all E's, spelled a little different, but it makes sense, M-E, me, as opposed, like Jeremy, as opposed to M-Y, how it's normally right. spelled, and how my parents sounded it out, bro. Sounded I noticed out. that, too. I was like, I thought your shit had a Y then. I was like, oh, his shit is M-E-M-E, like, okay. Yeah. And, I, and I asked my dad, it wasn't intentional, the fact that I, I was actually born, I assume my birth certificate, I was born at 333, so I'm like, Dad, did you... You all clever, like you thought, like oh, to ease backwards, and it did it. It's like, nah, I didn't think about it. I'm like, well, cool, well, good job, you know. Right, right, <laughs> right. That, but that's me making fun. But um, but yeah, so it's J E R E M E Rogers R O G. Hold the D, no homo. So R O G E R S. Um, yeah, and then, uh, and then for yeah, for Spotify and Apple and stuff, it's just my first name, Jeremy, but with threes instead of E's. Which is kind of annoying to explain, but it looks right. It looks cool, but no, that's, J- that's an easy way to say it with threes instead of E's. That's yeah, J J three R three M three, but it just looks. Yeah, it's just to turn the E's into threes, turn them around. Well, I appreciate you, bro. Um, yeah, it's good to see you again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it's even painless. though it's virtual, I'll be that's in LA painless. too soon, painless. and then hopefully you come back from Columbia sometime. And yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna come out to a LA the end of April. But yeah, that was that was painless. Nice. I think it's. Probably the first interview I'd done, and I wasn't fucking buzzed in like a long time. So that's nah, cool. you cool, bro. You vibing. You all, you all in Colombia. Somebody was like, I think it was Jason. He's like, oh, that's why the background looks exotic. Like they was yeah. wondering and shit. Like, yeah, yeah he's, he's, like, he's, man, he's on an island somewhere. You see know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Shout exactly. out, Jeremy. I appreciate you, bro. Um, I'm gonna hit you. You know what I mean? I'm gonna text you. Um, all right. And we gonna, you know what I mean? Do it up. Yep. Uh, God bless appreciate you, brother. You, brother. Ciao. Peace. Later. Yeah. All right. Man, shout out to the broski, man. Um, I ain't seen that guy in a minute, man. Uh, shout out to Jeremy Rogers, man. Y'all go tap in with him. Um, tap in with his music. He on his music shit now. He said, you heard him say he's putting together a tour with the music and the skating, so... But you go tap in with his music. Or like my Memphis mom would say, that Mersey, curbing on curbing. <laughs> yeah, go. I'm on that Mersey. Listen to that Mersey. Um, smash the like. Subscribe. If you ain't subscribed, if you smash the like, I salute. If you're a subscriber, salute. Until next time, I'm out. Snow guy, no game. Get tricky.